Hi, my name is Gina. I am making my video for the first time. This is my first YouTube video. I wanted to come on here and start a channel about my experience with losing weight using low carbs. Um, also, it's similar to keto. I've tried keto before. I'll get into that. Again, this is my first video. I don't have anything done to my face. I don't have anything done to my hair. I don't know where to look at on my phone. Um, I do have a better camera that we actually do photography. So I'll probably start using that. But this is just the first introductory video, just so you know who I am. Um, my name is Gina. I'm 40 years old. I will actually be 41 next month. And I just want to introduce myself and tell my story. So, um... I've always been overweight. I've been one of those people that as long as I can remember since I was probably five, I was an overweight kid. Um, I've had red hair. <laughs> I had short red hair, so I got picked on a lot. Um, and I didn't do any sports. Um, I probably would have been better if I had been pushed to do some sports since I was a little bit chubby kid. But that didn't happen. But, you know, we all take care of ourselves at a certain point. So I can't blame my parents. Um, but um, when I was about 15, I decided to do the step aerobic workout that Jane Fonda had with the whole plastic three-piece step setup. Or I think it was actually five pieces total. Um, and I did that. And I lost about 25 pounds, 30 pounds. Um, and I got down to a size 12 at that point. That's the smallest I've ever been in my, I guess you could say, my adult life, even though I was 15 then. Um, I've never been any smaller than that. Um, so over time through having three kids and um, working all the time, usually 12 hours a day with the jobs that I've had um, tend to be 12 hours a day. So didn't really have enough time to do a lot, but there's been several times where I've tried. So I'm going to say about 12 years ago, I did the, um, they got the DVDs for The Biggest Loser. So I started doing those. I thought I was eating right because I'm like, okay, I'll eat chicken and salads and vegetables. And yeah, I mean, technically that's not that bad, but I didn't know anything about the low carb keto stuff. Obviously that was uh, something that's just come along in the last few years. It's become popular anyway. So at that point, I was working out with the uh, DVDs from Biggest Loser. Um, I'm going to say it was at least an hour a day, every day. Um, drinking a bunch of water, trying to eat right. I lost 35 to 40 pounds, I believe. And then I hit a plateau where I couldn't lose anymore. And anybody that knows, you know. It sucks. It's like, okay, I'm going to try doing this better. Or I'm going to work out more. Uh, up to my workouts to an hour and a half or, or or maybe even two hours at that point. I was doing a lot more. And it just, it didn't help. So I gave up. I said, screw this. I'm tired of busting my ass every day and not seeing anything. So I, I tried for, I think it was at least two or three more weeks after I hit my plateau and nothing happened. So I gave up. And of course... I gained it back. And then over the years, a few more creep on. And a few more creep on. And a few more creep on. Um, and then about eight years ago, I decided, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. My brother and I got this great idea one day. We were like, okay, you know what? They have great specials at the beginning of the year at the gyms, you know. And you go and, and, and you can get basically $10 a month or whatever. So that's what we were doing. I was going to the gym, I was trying to eat better again, um, working out again, an hour a day, um, and this is all while I was working a 12 hour day job still. So I was doing that, and uh, again, I lost about 35 to 40 pounds, and I hit that same wall. So I talked to people at the gym, trainers and things like that, and they said, okay, well you can try doing um, some since you're doing so much aerobic stuff, try doing some weightlifting. So I tried doing that, um, and nothing helped. So I quit. I gave up again, gained it back again, plus more again. And if you've been there, you know, really it sucks. Really, you know, it sucks. So back, um, 
I'm going to say two years after that. It's like a couple year, every couple year thing. It's like six years ago. Um, I tried again. I tried going back to a gym. This was a different gym. Um, did a lot of walking, a lot of better eating. Uh, same 35 to 40 pound limit. And that was it. And I couldn't lose anymore. So I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm done. I uh, gave up again. Last time. All right. So then I started hearing back in 2017 about this keto diet. About carbs being an issue and this, that, and the other. Eating this way helps you, you know, what keto does. It changes what your body burns for fuel. So I was like, okay, I'll try this. This was September of 2017. I started keto. And it was doing great. I was losing weight. It was just falling off. I was so excited about how quickly it was falling off. And I, I was so excited. I told my husband, I can't believe it. I found something that works and I'm not busting my ass at the gym for two hours a day feeling like I'm not doing anything, you know, cause again, 12 hour day work, you know, you don't feel like coming home and making dinner and going to the gym and back and forth. And it's just life, you know, you guys know life. It's, it's busy. It's crazy. And you're tired. I'm, I'm about to be 41. I'm freaking tired a lot. I think a lot of that had to do with diet and things too. So September, 2017, I started keto. Um, for two weeks, I was losing really well. I lost about 20 pounds total in two weeks. And then about the middle of the third week, I started getting heart palpitations. Um, it was really freaking me out because back in the day, I used to have anxiety attacks, which I had got to the point where I could control them. And, you know, I wasn't having them anymore. If I started to have one, I could make it stop. So, but my heart was just freaking out. It freaked me out. It freaked my husband out. He's like, you got to quit this thing. You know, he tried to do his own research and he's like, it says that it caused this and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, look, I've already done enough <laughs> investigative work on this whole thing. I did my research first. I'm not just going to jump in just because it's some lose weight quick scheme. I'm not one of those persons to take diet pills or any of that crap. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll try drinking more water. I tried the supplements because they say add potassium and, and things like that. And so I added this stuff and, and, you know, a couple more days, I still, I still was having heart palpitations. So I quit. I quit keto because my body just didn't like it because I did find a little bit of information where some people, some people's bodies just didn't react well with it. So I stopped. And of course I was very upset because I finally felt like I found something that was going to work for me and it did for a little bit, <laughs> but then, um, my body said, nah, girl, you ain't doing this. We don't like it. So this past year, uh, creeped on a few more pounds. And towards Christmas time, I told my husband, I said, I'm just letting you know now that um, after the holidays are over, I'm, I'm not going to do keto, but I'm going to do low carb because I know, I know carbs are an issue. So I started um, to get everything organized and, and researched and figured out how I was going to do that. Um, and so today's Saturday, two weeks ago on Sunday is when I started doing low carb. So basically what I did is I got my information through the, the macros I needed through the Atkins. Um, so I'm doing 60% fat, 25% um, protein, and 15% carb. So I, I have a max of like 59 carbs a day, which 99% of the time I don't even come close to my max carbs. Um, so I actually was kind of worried I was going to put myself in ketosis trying to do low carb, but I, I haven't actually thrown the macros quite enough in that direction. Um, so I started out with, um, obviously I'm sitting around the house on a Saturday here with nothing, nothing, nada, you know, so it looks like I don't have any eyebrows or any eyelashes or nothing. But anyway, my husband's at work, <laughs> so I figured I'd do this now. Um, but two weeks ago when I started, I'm going to be honest, I don't care. I weighed 300 pounds and I freaked the F out. 
I'm five foot five. 300 pounds is the most I have ever weighed in my life. Because on average, when I was trying to lose weight before, I was around 250. Um, but last, except for in 17, when I started doing the keto, um, I was about 290. But when I hit 300 pounds, which I had already planned on doing this, but it freaked me out so bad, I almost wanted to cry. I'm like, you know, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to stress out because I'm about to do something about it. So... Um, when I weighed 300 pounds two weeks ago and basically everything has gone great. I am losing an average of about a pound a day. I don't weigh myself every day. It's about every two or three days. Um, it's Saturday and the last day I weighed myself was Wednesday. And so that was a week and a half in. Um, and I basically had lost 12 pounds. So I was down to 288 on Wednesday. So an average of a pound a day because that was like 13 days in. Or, no, actually, I lied. <laughs> that was a little a little more than a pound a day because I was actually like 10 days in. My brain is not calculating right now. My bad. So, but close to that. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm, I'm actually really happy with it because tomorrow basically makes two weeks I've been doing it. Um, and I'm really hoping <laughs> middle of next week I don't start having palpitations because I don't think I'm in ketosis and I'm not going to go buying ketone strips and all that crap because I'm, I'm not going to waste my money because you guys know what it's like it's hard it's hard you know paycheck to paycheck I'm there I'm with you I completely understand but honestly I have been spending basically right about the same amount as what we were spending before on groceries um we do have uh two cats that try to eat us out of house to home. But other than that, <laughs> um, the kids are actually, um, the kids that are in the house now are technically my husband's kids. We've been together, this year will be nine years. Um, his kids are, uh, they just turned 12 and 14. We've been together since they were three and five, so they call me mom too. I love them to death. I couldn't be more blessed with some awesome kids. They, they behave, ugh so so well we love them to death they're great um but they live with their mother uh who lives in michigan now so she uh has them during the summertime uh, i'm sorry she has them during the school year we have them during the summertime spring break summer break so they just went back from from christmas break um and so now we have our long wait to christmas break so we're in tennessee um halfway when we go to exchange the kids is uh, Cincinnati, so it's like three and a half hours halfway because she lives at the bottom of Michigan, so it's not too far um, when we do halfway, so that's good. Um, but we've we've been in a, that situation for a few years, about three years now, when she decided to move up there, so it's been tough. Um, but basically, 90% of the time, it's me and my husband and the two cats, um, so we spend an average of... Uh, some weeks it's more, but we spend an average about $80 a week on groceries. It's between $80 and $100. Um, I've been eating Atkins shakes for, excuse me, i got to switch hands because my arm is like, girl, what are you doing? Uh, it's killing me. It's killing me. I'm going to drop it. Oh, my God. Okay, so <clears throat> I figured I'll do the Atkins shakes for breakfast um, because that way... Um, I'll do that, you know, at least most mornings, do the Atkins shakes. Other mornings I'll do like eggs. Um, and then I figured it was easier to buy that for breakfast and, and I'll buy the Atkins frozen lunches or meals for lunch. That way it's one less thing to have to make, one less thing to have to pre prepare. And I'm like, I'm already know I'm getting what I need to be getting as far as food goes because they're pre-made for low carb. Um, so I've been eating those for lunch, or if we have something at dinner that there's plenty of leftover or just enough leftover for one, then I'll bring that for lunch. And then at night, let me tell you, trust me when I say Pinterest is your best brand when it comes to weight, not weight loss, but low carb and keto recipes. Obviously, this is my first video not quite 
brain in the way I need to right now. <clears throat> Sorry. So, um, I really love Pinterest. I've got a bunch of boards going on there with, with, uh, low carb dinners, low carb breakfast, low carb desserts. And I just realized this week I'm not really getting enough fat. So I started making some fat bombs. Um, this, I just made some tonight for the first time. I made some cheesecake fat bombs there in the freezer and, um, I made some peanut butter cookies. I did just try me and my arm. Oh, I just tried the peanut butter cookies. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to with like the swerve and the trivia and stuff like that when you try to eat that, but, um, it was actually pretty good. I actually had two of them, so it was really, really good. So that helps me get some fat. I know there's some protein in the peanut butter, but, um, I got the natural peanut butter, so it's nothing in that jar but peanuts. So, um, and then dinner is the stuff from Pinterest. Let me tell you, we had zucchini lasagna and oh my God, I thought I was going to die from just this awesomeness that this stuff was we just it tasted just like regular lasagna I told my husband oh my god this is great and he's like yeah it is and my husband is amazing I love him to death he's my best friend he's 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 awesome um and you'll hear me talk about Eric so Eric is my husband um this year we'll we, we will have been married for five years um, sorry, four years. We've been together for nine. We'll have been together for nine. We're married for four. I can't calculate today, obviously. My brain no worky. Um, so he, he'll eat anything I give him. He's awesome. He's like, yeah, it's good. I'll eat it. <laughs> He's not going to complain. So we had the, the lasagna. We've made fathead pizza dough. I'm going to try chicken uh, pizza dough this week. Um, we did cauliflower rice, which the I got the frozen bags because it's easier that way than getting the cauliflower and trying to make your own rice. So we had cauliflower rice, uh, chicken fried rice. And I'm telling you, we thought this tasted better than P.F. Chang's chicken fried rice. It was awesome. So we're definitely going to be making more of that. But all of my recipes I've been getting off of Pinterest or Keto Connect, um, which they're on Pinterest too. But as far as YouTube goes, I've been watching Keto Connect. And Lauren Brazy, I think that's how you say her name, B-R-A-Z-E-E. -E. She is amazing absolutely freaking hilarious and i feel like i can connect with this woman because she's so real she tells you like it is and she just doesn't care she's like look this is life this is my kids you know this is this is it you know this is me i love it because she's so real she is a absolutely gorgeous woman inside and out and does some really hilarious videos but she's got some really good information to um, she does what she calls a lazy keto, and I can kind of say that I understand because I feel like I'm kind of doing something similar with the low carb. It feels like a lazy keto because it's not, um, you know, like very, very strict specifics to, to like keto. So, excuse me for scratching my news. Um, I think it's like a nervous thing. But um, I think the next time I do this, since this is with my phone, I'm going to try using, uh, we do photography, so I'm going to use our other camera um, next time. But I figured since this was an introductory video, um, I just wanted everybody to know who I was and um, my story. So you're going to go through it with me. So I am uh, two weeks in with low carb and everything's going good. Fingers crossed it's going to keep going good. And I'm hoping when it warms up, like I said, we're in Tennessee, so when it warms up, I'll, I'll get outside more and do more walking, and we'll go walk on more trails and do more hiking. Um, we don't do any extreme hiking because my knees are like, uh-uh, girl, that's too steep. We're not doing that. So uh, my knees do not like extreme inclines.